Mike Goodwin. I'm about to take you on a trip up to Houghton Hall in top of Norfolk next to Sandringham. It's uh, on a trip to see the art of Anish Kapoor. Before we go there, though, I want to show you a couple of items that it produced before. One was the Chicago Cloud Gate in 2005. And for the uh, Olympics in London in 2012, we did the Orbit. When we arrived, we were greeted by the White Deer. There's, there must be 50, 70, 80 of them. And there's also an artwork that's produced of them, but we didn't see that. But we did, though, walk down through the walled garden all the way down to the conservatory. It's fantastic to go there right at the best part of the season. But let the flowers do the talking, let the plants do the talking, and let the birds do the singing. This really does set the mood though for looking at the arts which is in starts actually in front of Houghton Hall and what you're going to see in a second is a massive I think it's probably about six meter high diameter sky mirror here it is now made in 2018 of stainless steel it's concave on this side that you're looking at and just at the very top of it you can see the reflection of the hall. I don't really know why people take pictures so close of it. They're not going to get anything out of it at all. It looks like it's landed from a different planet. If you get that it, if you go around the back and it's convex gives you those silly effects like you get in the Hall of Mirrors this is probably about 10 foot high 8 8 built in 2014 and uh, made of onyx uh, this is not Kapoor's it's called a line in Norfolk right this, this is back to Kapoor uh, 2018 it's uh, unentitled uh, this one piece of granite it's highly polished into two concave areas technically I thought it was absolutely amazing as it's granite is uh, nine on the most scale of hardness which puts it right up there with diamond so to produce something like that's quite incredible this is grace made in 2014 marble in the surroundings where it is it's incredible this is imminence which to both of us represented pregnancy. Yeah, you have to see these things in situ. They take on a power of their own. Yeah, structures like these will be seen for thousands of years. They place mankind in the cosmos as being a high intelligence. And they do, they take on a life of their own. And they talk to the future. This one, as I said, has got echoes of a pharaoh's sarcophagus. You can even see the cut lines, the machine marks on it. But you can't on the pharaoh's sarcophagi. This is the obverse of it. And of course you can see all the horizontal lines on that. That's uh, where the rods went through for the uh, dynamite blasting. Yeah, some parents thought it funny to put their eight year old kid into this. Uh, Kapoor should have put a 20 foot hole at the back so it disappeared. Uh, this one's called Liver, made in 2001 in marble. We thought it was evocative of Mick Jagger's Tom. This is obviously inside Mollis, made in 2003. 
and the mirror works I'm not sure what they're made of uh, they, they could be stainless steel or they could be glass but uh, the effect that they had was pretty stunning this hole is actually a super black material it absorbs light totally but it is actually a hole you can put your hand into it I had to put this up it's a sign of the times isn't it the girls are lovely and that of course is my art picture Suffolk wind anyway I hope you've enjoyed this if you've got a chance go up and have a look at it Anish Kapoor it's on till the 1st of November I'm signing off thanks for watching Mike Goodwin goodbye I loved it up there at the top of Norfolk and I can see why the Queen lives there in Sandringham. It's fantastic.